I should tell y'all what they're asking him to do. Um, okay. They're saying he can't return until he has a meeting with the Jewish community leaders, and he 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 has some make good efforts to show his sincerity about his apology that he gave before. And so this is what they're asking Kyrie Irving to do before they bring him back. And apparently, based on the momentum that that's been going, he hasn't actually done these things. They're not looking now that he's at the end of the suspension. They're not looking at bringing him back. Um, based off of this information. What do y'all think? Do you think that this this issue with Kyrie Irving has gone too far? Bullshit. I'm gonna call bullshit on this. Mm -hmm. The reason why? Well, Wait, I'm gonna call tell bullshit them you were supposed to watch the movie for us. I was supposed to watch the. movie. He was supposed to watch the movie I for us so we could break it down and we could, he could tell us what was actually. <laughs> now nah, go. Nah, but okay. So I think it's two sides to this. You got the side of the actual Jews. And the businesses, which will be the NBA, mm -hmm. and then you got our people side or our culture side. Mm -hmm. So I can't really tell the Jews what not to be offended by. That's like uh, let, allowing a white man to tell me I shouldn't be offended by the N word or right. I shouldn't be offended that they say we should get over slavery or what have you. It right. would be the same thing. So I couldn't possibly tell a white person or a Jew not to be offended by that. But when it comes to our culture and our people who are backing those white people and those Jews being offended or trying to cancel, uh, cancel Kyrie is where I have the problem. Say the Jews run the world, the Jews do this, the Jews do that. All we look, we say the same thing as a black as a black culture. So when they get mad at Kanye and try to cancel him for that, how dare we stand up and say, yeah, he gone too far. Let's cancel him. Mm -hmm. Right. When we in pub in private share these same ideologies. You said Kanye. So I mean, again, I, well, Kanye it's still and relevant Kyrie, though because they're both. Yeah. They're both basically pushing the same. They're saying the same when nobody wants else. Was he wrong to, to, to was he wrong to retweet this post? That's a two sided coin because I understand him saying, "Hey, they had this specific part in this movie or in this book, and I wholeheartedly agree with it, so I shared it. I mm -hmm. understand that." But then when you look at it in totality, when you step take a step back and look at it in totality and say, well, yeah, it said that, but it said this too. And you re you tweeted it and didn't differentiate what it was that you were talking about. You still have to be held accountable. What, if I repost that, it's automatically taken that I agree with the whooping yep. women's ass and everything else too. Even though that's not what I agree with. I have to be cognizant of that. So did he post just the documentary and stuff or did he post somebody that had wrote something about it no he posted, the he posted the documentary well if they're gonna upset with him about posting it why aren't they upset with who made it <clears throat> well i think they've been canceled the book or the, the author but the it's book. still yeah. on amazon well, yeah yeah they, once they, amazon, under, well, well, amazon, amazon, no, 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 amazon is under heat right now that's right what she talking about is valid because and amazon is under heat right now not only amazon but barnes and noble's been carrying mm -hmm. this movie too and um both places are under fire you know what else is under fire shaquille o'neal shaquille o'neal uh and, and charles barkley sat on the panel and criticized Kyrie well, Irving. they called him stupid and called him an idiot yeah we found out through research that Shaquille O'Neal owns a, a movie theater that's been playing this movie. So based off of Kyrie Irving retweeted this shit, Shaq had one of his movie theaters been playing this. Do he so know that down do you, to a Tito? Like Shaq is just basically investing. That don't matter. That don't matter. The buck okay, stops you're right, at the top. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. Buck exactly. stops at the top. That's exactly. your shit. You bought it. Right. One thing okay. about them tables, they turn. So what you got to right. say now? Exactly. See, but to piggyback off of that. No, 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 no. Hold on, because I was going somewhere with this. I, um, the biggest problem with that is simply that he didn't provide context. Everybody want to know. Okay, Kyrie. You reposted it. If you don't fuck with anti-Semitism, tell me what part of this movie is you like, yeah, that's what's up. You know, that's what people wanted to know. He couldn't do they it. wanted him to just explain what he's talking about. And well, that's he, the nah, problem. he did explain what he's talking no, about. No, no. Kyrie Irving went out there and explained that he's not anti-Semitic. He also talked about how he felt like the uh, like black people were the real uh, Jewish, Jewish Jews and, and Israelites. He's explained that. So he but did I'm talking explain about it. The parts it just the wasn't movie. the answer that they wanted. I don't think it was the answer nobody wanted. Because even to this point, I, don't I still don't. Thing. Yeah. Even to this point, I still don't know what parts of this book, this this movie that Kyrie shit. was feeling. But what did they want him to do? Say it was it was fifty six minutes and twenty two seconds to an hour and fifteen minutes that I agree with. What do you? Maybe want him for to me do? it would be like 
a message. Okay, I agree with. They said this here. Well, why like, can't he that man said he express did himself? That. Why no, can't? he did that. He did what you're saying you want him to do. He did that. What he was saying was, hey, I agree that black people are the real Jews. Black people are the real. Like, so that's what he's saying. Black people are the real Jews. He black said people that. Are the real, he that's said right. that. Jews are offended because that insinuates and it's, it has lines that are more direct in the book that says that the white Jews be capped. I want um, us to watch this movie also, and come back to this. He was supposed to watch the movie. So I want us to all three watch also, this and talk about But I shit. also want to say this too because they finally got him to apologize after mm -hmm. all of this shit. No matter how sincere it was, they finally got him to apologize. I wouldn't have apologized. Now, right. I understand that you got to think about the money that he was getting ready to lose or if that was a factor. Uh, okay, cool. I get it. Everybody's situation is different. Some people are not willing to lose that money and shit. But this is why I say I wouldn't apologize. Because if you're telling me, as a black man, that, hey, you offended these Jews, which are predominantly white people. I'm not saying there's no black Jews, but what we know Jews to be are predominantly right. white Jews. Yeah. You offended these white people, these white Jews, right, mm -hmm. as a black man. It's mandatory. I demand that you apologize. I'm going to publicly humili uh, humiliate you in front of the whole country for everybody to see. I think that the penalties they put that, on Kyrie Irving is saying right, that why right there. The reason that people are offended that he posted this, apparently, um, not this is without me having seen it. This is what people that have seen it are saying about the movie. Right. They're saying that the movie alleges that Jewish people are fake Jews because black people were Jewish first. Uh, this movie also um, allegedly uh, makes false claims of, of Jewish power and control. Like... Above what we've been talking about, above just owning some businesses, this movie apparently is making claims that that Jews own the world in, in ways that we can't necessarily. Which they basically is it validated not by canceling everything Kanye had going on is in his life. True? But they pretty much proved his point when they exactly took his when they started this shit. And everything. This movie and apparently this movie also alleges that they fabricated the Holocaust. Bro, Columbus. Founded America. He was the first person on this soil. The same way that they'll tell you if you believe in God or if you're a Christian that the white man is Jesus. When you read the Bible and show, and Jesus uh, depicts a black man, and if not a black man, at the very least, a Middle, a middle, middle Eastern, Eastern man. Yeah. Or what we know to look like a Middle Eastern man in right. today's time. Right. Now, now we ain't talking about we ain't holding them accountable for that type of shit. So it only matter what we say on this side. But when y'all try to change our history and shit or rewrite it and make it look like something is not, I mean, we just supposed to sit back as a black people and say, oh, that was four hundred years ago. And I really feel like a lot of it does have to do with rewriting history because you've seen the things that they've amended to where they can't teach in schools anymore. Mm -hmm. Like Come they were on. they look were worried it. about the way slavery made white people look. I mean, but slavery was what Critical it was. Race theory. You know, it was what it was. You can. See sit there and say, I don't like the way y'all are depicted, but our history is our history. Why yeah. is our history always being erased to make someone else and feel bad about their And why do I have to manipulate our history I to make that, you feel uh, good? Yeah. Okay, so after hearing what y'all said, although I get where y'all coming from, I think y'all completely ignoring the fact that Kyrie ain't just some regular dude. Number one, number one, if Kyrie reposts something, it is an endorsement. Whether he meant to or not, Kyrie to his millions of followers brings light on something so that people. So he can't have do. beliefs. No, I'm, I'm not. I'm, I'm, I'm getting some going somewhere with this. It's okay for him to have beliefs. In fact, I skip everything. I'm a, it's okay for you to have beliefs. And it's okay for you to say whatever you want to. But since the beginning of time, it ain't never been a time that it ain't no consequences for that shit you talking about. There's going to be consequences. You can so then, say, hold on, hold on. you can say what you want to. And whenever, when, if, if, if this man say something about this man mama, we know the consequences. We know what come next. If this white boy say, say that word. We know what's so now. Next. You gotta you gotta put accountability into the equation, bro. Us knowing that, us watching him basically go through a public lynching. Yeah. When do we decide to say, "Hey, this is fucked up," and we know it's fucked up? I think every, I think you you decide to say that with with everybody's this is voices, all over with there. everybody's voices over the internet and over their podcast and whatever media they have. Like I'm hearing, I'm hearing everybody's angle. Uh, just being online, you scroll the timeline. Everybody thinks this or this or this. So everybody, I mean, it's, it's real all organization lot there. though. I mean, real organization. The bottom line is it. Hold on, the bottom line is this. Like that's all you got control over, fam. You Kyrie Irving, if 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 they own this and you talk crazy about them, 
cause and effect. Simple one plus one That's equals not true. two. That's not true. Simple cause and effect tells me if I own this and you talk crazy about me, I'm probably gonna shut you down. That's like, not true. This is why that's not true because Kyrie understands if he is woke, like he say, let's just go with the woke theory. That and nigga thinks the language. earth is flat, Let me bro. Take, okay, I might think the earth flat too. He Let has me give you right something. To feel how he wants he to do. Feel. Number yeah, one, but like, just because you don't agree with it, don't mean that he can't feel like that. Number one, number two, Kyrie may understand that it's strength in numbers, bro. See, the thing is, when when Miami really needed Deshaun Watson but didn't sign him because of the backlash that they were gonna get, that backlash wasn't coming from us. Gay community. LGBTQ. If you okay, hold on. If you okay, understand that, so wait. If you LGBTQ understand LGBTQ that, plus all right. Sign, you gotta LGBTQ read. Look, look. look if I'm edition. saying if you can understand that, if you can understand there are certain motherfuckers you can't offend, then you have to know. Definitely not the one who signed checks. When do we start fighting back? Is is that yeah? We know that you can't walk up and tell your boss fuck you. But how long do you let him treat you like shit before you finally say fuck you? But maybe, maybe it's this. Maybe he had his part that he agreed with, with his part that he explained. Maybe there was a lapse in his judgment and not realizing that although you, when you posted it, you should have, because it was a controversial film, he should have been specific when he posted it to what, That's what it I'm was talking that about. That's what I'm talking about. That he agreed with so that it wouldn't have became this, this big. big thing. But now that it's became this big, I do I feel like they're, put, they're coming down on him. He clearly. I just feel like it was, it's a total misconception. Uh, it, it on been his that part, big it shouldn't have been this. It shouldn't have became this I big. And at this that. point, I feel like they're trying to make a point because a Kanye, Kanye had just did yeah, what he yeah. did. And then yeah, when Kyrie did it, it's like you double down on, yeah. on but, that. And but these two niggas think, been hanging out since These white people. Well, these, I mean, why not? The Jews, and sh it, it still would have been a big deal, though. Even if he would have clarified what part of the book he agreed with or what part of the movie he agreed with, it would have been a big deal simply because of the fact that Jews were already against this. So he should have just never no, even think expressed he had, how he felt in the first no, That's the only way you got to express right. it and deal with the consequences or, or keep your up. feelings to yourself. I think if he right. was very specific about what it is he was endorsing, I think people would be very specific about they about about what they what it is they're angry with him about. Here's the thing. Look, automatically. Y'all, everybody, everybody always got a problem with some shit. I can say the sky is blue and motherfuckers online, if I post that, motherfuckers will have a problem with That's that. That's true. I wanna look, I wanna go to a different picture with this. And and the bigger point here, for me, is that who the messenger is hold, has to hold some weight with me for me to act on, on the information that's given. When I say that, I mean a lying ass nigga can't come up to me and tell me the ice cream truck outside. I'm going to have to ask somebody that the, if the ice cream truck outside or I need Brad, to... Well, they took that, just that post, and instead of asking then, hey, what did, why did you repost this? Instead, mm -hmm. everybody made this assumption that he wholeheartedly agreed with that whole film. I to your point, they was all, because they already had a notion of the Well, book. the thing was, hold on, I so the Kanye thing had just happened. It was yeah. a very sensitive but this is why time. I'm saying they were gonna be mad regardless. They man. were gonna be mad because regardless. it was it was, no no. I'm saying that him him uh, specifying what it was that he agreed with wouldn't have mattered solely because they already have a specific picture of this book. So anytime that you associate yourself with that book, anything you say after your association won't matter because I look at this book as a serial killer book. You may say, oh, I was only in looking at the book for avians. That don't matter. I'm looking at you like a serial killer because I already have the notion in my head that only serial killers associate with this book. I believe you. I believe you, too, when it comes to that. I just think that I, I don't agree with the idea that it, he might not have been able to make it better if he didn't specify what it is he was talking about. I, just I think that if he had, I think if he had specified what he was talking about, I think like the criticism would be different. It wouldn't be yeah. as broad as it is right now. He's he's talking about being anti-Semitic, where if he was talking about, oh, I agree with this, yeah. then it would be more so um, criticism based on what he said he agreed with. Y'all right. know Nick Cannon got in trouble for the same shit, right? They yeah. canceled Wild I know. Wild. I know Anthony Edwards got in trouble for what saying is, something What similar. is a Semite? Check this out. Ooh. Anthony Edwards got in, a, another star in the NBA got in trouble for, for making an a anti-Semitic slur. Um, I don't know if he was playing a game or some shit. Anyways, the uh, news. Miami. The no, you talking about Miles Leonard? Oh um, yeah, that's what I'm talking. I don't know if he was playing a game or some shit, but this was early in the year. The reason why nobody's talking about it is because it, it became a non-factor because the young boy was smart enough to just say, 
My bad. And ain't nobody talking about it. Everybody, Kyrie has a history of causing distractions, missing games, and 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 compromising the team that exactly that he's that he's playing for. This and isn't that though. I, I believe it is. I believe Any other that time uh, that he missed, he made the choice to miss. I'm not getting vaccinated. Or or being hurt, or I'm not doing this. This they took it. They took any other time he stepped away from the game for the cause. This time they took the game away from him for the cause. Y'all have to realize Kanye is a rebel, and guess what? They they made an example out of Kanye, and Kyrie is a rebel, and guess what they're doing with Kanye? But well, Kyrie, they're making an example and out of that's him. That's why. I that's facts. That's why Brittany that's Griner. Why Brittany, I don't Brittany, think Brittany Griner. Griner Brittany Griner was being a rebel, and guess what they're doing? Making an example out of her. I ain't her. gonna put Brittany. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. I'm not putting her in the end. Um, Mad in conversation, I'm just saying, I feel like a lot of what people do sometimes that we look at is like, it seems so blown up, but sometimes because they are public figures, that's the point. When you're a yeah, public yeah, yeah. figure, they try to it's make a, an example out of you. That's I what just they're wanna, doing. I'm not trying to tie her into this at all. Don't, yeah. don't get me wrong. Well, I just want to get this part out, is that I think that when you get power, when you get fame and power, you have mm -hmm. a different level of responsibility than somebody yes. that doesn't have fame and power. You have when you post that. something on to your network, extent. When you post something on your network, you need to be smart enough to know that your millions of followers is not the same as bro over here with hundreds or thousands of followers. You need to know. And so you need to know you can say whatever you want to. You can say that shit for real. But there will be consequences if you say it to all these people for them to see. And I think yeah. we should, bro, it's only, if I'm not mistaken, they said it was only seven point something million Jews in the world. Bro, if if we was to stand behind Kyrie for real, I don't stand behind what he's do. talking about. I'm, I'm willing to have the conversation, but I don't really stand behind Kyrie. He, I don't like the messenger. If okay, but okay, bro, but if he telling you, hey, bro, black people were really enslaved. Black people were really royalty. Black people really came from Africa. Black people really were cream of the crop. Because you don't like. Kyrie, that makes that exactly. story not true. No, that means that I can't take that shit from him. That means I need to log on and do that research with that phone in the palm of my hand. Aware of this though. Yeah, yeah. So why that's not why or something we're that's why aware if of. he says that I'm not aware of what's going on in this movie. But the shit that you just said, I'm aware of because I've been through the school process. I've seen it. I've, I've taken classes and done research on this stuff. That's why I can accept it. Can't accept it just because Kyrie said it. Because I don't like the messenger. Now they're smarter well, niggas. I would only accept it if I knew it would to be true. I'm not but, saying it. That, but I'm not like that. Because I can accept that message without having the without knowing that it's that valid. If that comes from a smarter individual that I got more respect for. What makes Kyrie dumb? Um. Well, I'm not calling Kyrie dumb. I'm you said say a smarter individual. So yeah, I'm saying what makes Kyrie not smart. There are people smarter than me, and I ain't calling myself. I don't think dumb. it's that he's saying he's not yeah. smart. He's saying he doesn't respect his opinion, so he he's not gonna. Yeah, I'm saying I don't respect not? his. I'm not calling him he, dumb. He's he I don't respect his opinion. He might not like him as a. Person. You want to know why I don't respect his opinion? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah why, I'll why tell you all about that. I don't like him as a person. Um, I think that nigga finds a lot of reasons to miss games. I think he compromises his team on the for on the on the sake of him being right. I think that he has to go against the grain, and, and although that's okay, I think he's put everybody else that he's supposed to be with um, in, in the line of fire when it comes to talking about shit that's not basketball related. The Nets built the team to go to the finals. Niggas, niggas came to the team. James Harden, DeAndre Jordan, uh, Griff, uh, all these dudes came to the team because true. on paper with all these names, they were supposed to go to the finals. That's right. true. Kyrie Irving's in the build. In 2020, he didn't want to go to the bubble. bubble. Mental health reasons. In 2021, um, January 6th, 6th riots happened. He decided that was enough for his mental health to not go. He called everybody that had a game in the next coming days and asked them not to play. Um, after that, uh, last year in the, in the season, he misses more than half the season because he refuses to take the vaccine, which is a great stance to take. I just don't fuck with it because for Kyrie it's a pattern of behavior. Like okay, but all the pat all the behavior that you just named were based solely off of his beliefs. Yeah. So what you're yeah, telling him is, is I don't fuck with it. What you're no, telling I'm saying him this is, pattern of behavior. Bro, put your beliefs to the side it. and do A, B, and that's what you're telling him. Put your beliefs to the side. I'm and not do telling a, him shit. You are because no, you're you asked with his me. No, I'm beliefs. not even upset. 
You asked me why I don't this like the message. This is not about the stance at this point. Yeah, okay. This is about it's not about Kyrie. being upset or well, nothing. Okay, no, I don't listen to. I can't listen to to something coming from him that's not the popular opinion. I can't listen to a new fact coming from Kyrie Irving because of what I think of his past shit. That's not the same as me being mad at him okay, or him telling saying, him to do saying. anything. You saying you don't like him? To me, that's me. That, uh, that's why I said, okay, mad, being mad at him is the wrong phrase of words. But you don't like him. You have disdain for him. Which means I can't take the message okay, from him. Okay, so that's check it. this out. But look at what. But this is what I'm saying though. This is why I say it's because of his beliefs. You're saying that you don't like Kyrie. And when I say, well, why don't you like Kyrie? You say because he refused to go to the bubble. Okay, so then I say, well, why he refused to go to the bubble? Because of his beliefs. All right, his give me another. Health. His mental health. That's yeah. something that he that's believes. His okay, but wait, wait, wait. That let me change what I think. Let me finish. Let me finish. So that's one I feel belief. You. That's his belief that you don't like him for. Basically saying, hey, put your belief to the side as a man. No, and do this. no, no, no. So no, let's no. go hold to on, the next thing. Let's stop right there, real quick, because that's not basically saying that. I need to reiterate that I'm asking for no action from Kyrie. You simply ask me about my thoughts of you Kyrie. You have been upset. No, 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 no. To the bubble, right? I'm not upset. I just point out that Kyrie didn't go. Everybody else he went. He's not upset. He just okay, saying he doesn't really But also, but also, but also, but also I also want to say is the wrong you're he making it. But you're also going mouth. to he's, you're also going to me me saying basically you're saying put your beliefs. I'm not saying any of that. I'm saying I don't fuck with Kyrie because he's made this action based on this. I don't want to tell that Kyrie is based on his but, belief. But though. I need you to tell him yes, fact. So but if I need he don't you, make that action, that's him putting his belief to the side. Right. The only reason why he made that action is because of that belief. I need you to listen for a second because all of that is true. Let's go forward and go to the point where you're saying, you're basically saying, put your beliefs to the side. I want to stop there because I ain't saying shit that's to That's why Kyrie. I said that. Yeah, but let me get this out. I want you to know I, I'm not asking for any action from Kyrie Irving whatsoever. I don't mean to change Kyrie. I don't mean to make him into a person that I care to hear from. None of that shit. I'm not asking for no action. I can't take his word based on his past. Is what I'm saying. So I'm no, not I'm basically on, saying don't follow your. I'm no, about I, don't, you I want you to like say it. I don't want you to say that I'm basically saying swallow your beliefs and do this because I'm not. I'm saying I don't like him because he did this over this. But I won't tell but him it was swallow his beliefs. His beliefs. That's exactly. why I say that because it was his beliefs that made him make that move. The point so is, if he went to the left instead of the right, you would that would not be a problem you had with him. That's what I'm saying. So when I when you say that's why I, that's why I'm putting two two things together. When you say, "Hey, I'm not going to take the vaccine because of my beliefs." And then you say, "I don't like him because he didn't take the vaccine." No, 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 put, no, no, uh, no, no, no. Not putting his team Okay, hold first. on, hold on. Before you go forward there, that's not at all what I'm saying. I, by, by the time that vaccine shit came up, Kyrie Irving had a history of being in the league for seven like or eight years. Yes, it's it not. And then if it was just the vaccine thing, doing these things. Thank but it's solely if based it was off just, his But if it was just the no, vaccine, saying, it's I'm not anything that's that's immature. He's that's, just an immature nigga. No, he doing these things. I need beliefs. you to know that's okay. It's okay. His beliefs is okay. He just I'm don't saying, like it. Yeah, yeah, it's, and it's okay for me to not fuck with yeah. that. It's okay no, for me to not okay, be able to listen to what he's talking saying, about. I would like you if you no, put that to the side. No, I would not he's like him to do shit. you can be shit. who you are. I, no, yeah, I'm, not, I don't like I'm not saying I would like you to do this. I would like you <laughs> if you did this. That's no, what I'm trying to say. I'm not, no, 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 no. I would... I would care about what he's saying if I thought he was a smarter individual, one. And two, if he didn't have a history of just causing a distraction. Mm -hmm. By the time we got to the vaccine and the bubble, Kyrie Irving had been in the league for seven years already. Look at it Kyrie like Irving had a history of missing... Uh, like 40% of the season on average. So my favorite thing to see is Kyrie Irving might be the best dribbler I've ever seen in my life. I like to see Kyrie Irving finish at the rim. I like seeing him ball. I also like seeing him be a teammate to the guys he bring over to the squad. If KD here, if James Harden here, I want to see them all out there together. Kyrie Irving has consistently found a reason to not be out there with him. And that's my bigger problem. But I don't care about his beliefs. That reason is it's his because beliefs? of his beliefs.